Hello everyone, I am Professor K. N. Vaksore. In the unit number one, which is this per gear, in this unit we are going to study the gear kinematics. In the gear kinematics, we are going to study how the contact between two mating teeth get started, how the contact between two mating teeth get ends, the total distance traveled by the point from the start of contact to the end of contact, which is called as the path of contact. We are going to derive the expression for this path of contact. Again, arc of contact and the contact ratio. So, for starting, I would like to show you one small animation. Here we will find the contact between two mating teeth, which started, which gets started near about at this location, and which ends at this location. This point of contact, which is moving along this yellow line, which is the common normal, and that contact which always pass through this constant point which is the pitch point and here you will find your law of gearing gets satisfied to have the uniform velocity as per the law of gearing to have the uniform velocity ratio your point of contact always move along the common normal and it must pass to the pitch point okay again from that contact gets started at this location at end at this location distance from this start of contact to the pitch point the distance traveled from start of contact to the pitch point which is called as the path of approach from this point to this point which is called as the path of recess and total distance is called as the path of contact okay now we are going to derive that uh, equation for the path of contact which consists of the path of approach and the path of recess. Okay, now we'll just consider we'll consider some notations: pitch circle, pinion gear, annulum circle radius, base circle radius, module. Both the circle in case of spur gear to match two gear, spur gears, they must have the same module. If they have the same module, they are again having the same circular pitch, number of teeth, gear ratio, speed of the pinion and gear. Your here your considering one term which is the pinion pinion where your smaller gear is the driver then it is called as the pinion and driven gear is called as the gear but when your larger gear is the driver and smaller gear is the driven gear in, in that case both the gears are called as the gears okay now just try to understand this figure we already studied that point of contact which moving along the common normal just try to understand the point, point of contact between two mating teeth which get started at this location and get ends at this location when that point of contact is started this is the common normal ln is sorry nm is the common normal just try to understand this nm is the common normal when the addendum circle when the addendum circle when the addendum circle of the wheel or the gear curves the common normal at that time the contact between two mating teeth get started in this say at this as the same if the point that common uh, sorry common uh, sorry addendum circle of the pinion curves the common normal you will find the end of contact the distance traveled by the point from k to l which is called as the path of contact k to p which is called as the path of approach and p to l which is called as the path of recess okay next term we are going to study which is the arc of contact what we have to consider now the contact between two meeting teeth gets started at this location okay i'll just change the color that contact gets started at this location okay at the same time what we have to consider we have to consider any we have to consider the point uh, one point on the profile of the tooth on the pitch circle now this is the pitch circle this is referred as the pitch circle pitch circle again you have to trace the same point from the when that contact is moving from start to end again you have to rotate this and you have to trace this point g from start of contact to the end of contact this point from this position comes to this position and this 
total length or distance traveled by that point on the curve path or the on the circle which is called as the arc of contact that is gh is referred as a arc of contact kl is referred as a path of contact gh is referred as a arc of contact again g2h which is called as the arc of approach just like kl which is the path of approach gp is called as the arc of approach and ph which called as the arc of recess and pl which is called as the path of recess okay now we'll just draw one diagram this is very complex diagram now we'll just draw one simple diagram what we have how to draw this diagram you have to just draw one vertical line you have to mark the two points o1 o2 you have to consider any pitch point p these are the small r capital r which are the uh, p circle radius next i will just draw one horizontal line next i will mark the pressure pressure angle i will draw an inclined line i will mark the common normal sorry i will just draw one perpendicular line to this common normal i will get the base circle radius again i will draw the common normal i will get the base circle radius of the driven gear okay now m and n okay next what i just want to start that contact for that you have to draw one addendum circle radius or you will have to draw one line which intersect this common normal at point k this is the contact between two meeting teeth get started again i will draw the that addendum circle radius of the gear sorry pinion which intersect that common normal at point l this this is the that means at this location contact between two mating teeth gets end the total distance travel kl which is called as the path of contact this is the pressure angle pressure angle okay and gh which is called as the arc of contact okay we already studied this part the length of path of contact is the length of common normal cut off by the addendum circles the addendum circle which is the cut by this common normal cut by this addendum circle common normal cut by this addendum circle this total distance is called as the path of contact kp is the path of approach pl is the path of now we will study the expression of the path of contact to study this expression we have to learn this diagram in this diagram we have to consider the four right angle triangles o1 O1, M, P. This is the first right, right angle triangle. The second right angle triangle O1, M, K. Okay. Again, next right angle triangle O2, N, P. Next right angle triangle O2, N, K. Okay. Now we'll find the base circle radius. That means we'll find this O1, M, and the O to N in terms of small in terms of P circle radius. Okay, radius of the base circle of the pinion O1 M is equal to R cos phi. Just consider this right angle triangle O1 P. Again, so consider second right angle triangle O1 N P, and you can find out O2 N is equal to O2 N is equal to R cos phi. Okay. Now consider next right angle triangle O2 n k in this o2 n k where k n is equal to this is the hypotenuse means o2 k o2 k square minus o2 n square okay that means that o2 k which is the addendum circle radius of the gear and o2 n is equal to r cos phi we already derived this Again, we are going to find again one length which is the NP. NP. This this is, we want to find out. Just consider this triangle O2 and P. That NP is equal to R. NP is equal to R sine phi. NP or PN is equal to R sine phi. In the same fashion, again this now just consider we already calculated this KN. Again, we have calculated this Pn and we are interested to find out this Kp. 
kp is equal to kn this total distance kn minus pn kn minus pn okay kp is equal to this total distance which is the kn minus this pn we can find out this kp which is the path of approach and that final expression becomes kp is equal to square root of r a square minus r square cos square phi under minus r sin phi okay in the same fashion we are going to derive in the same fashion we will going we are going to derive the expression for the path of recess now we can be already calculated this small r sin phi capital r sin phi now consider this right angle triangle o1 m l where o1 this is the hypotenuse okay now that ml is equal to ml is equal to o1 l square ml is equal to square root of o1 l square minus o1 m square okay o1 l o1 l which is the random circle radius here you can find out sorry okay i'll just on my pen okay o1 l is the random circle radius and o1 m o1 m which is the base circle radius that we already calculated which is the r cos phi okay i can mp now this distance mp mp that mp is equal to just consider this right angle triangle o1 mp and you will find that mp is equal to small r sin phi okay small r sin phi and path of recess we are interested in the pl that pl is equal to this ml minus mp ml minus mp and that equation becomes square root of r a square minus r square cos square phi minus r sin phi this is the expression of the path of recess i will consider this equation path of approach square root of r a square minus r square cos square phi minus r sin phi path of recess pl r a square minus r square cos square phi minus r sin phi and length of path of contact is the kl is equal to kp plus pl this total expression becomes square root of r a square minus r square cos square phi minus r sin phi plus square root of r a square minus r square cos square phi minus r sin phi now we will consider the expression of the arc of contact how that arc of contact gets started that we will study first when your contact between two meeting teeth gets started at the point k you have to consider the intersection point of the circular pitch sorry pitch circle and the tooth which is that point is the g intersection point of the pitch circle and the tooth profile that point is the g as this gear rotates and when you are at the same time when your contact is move is moving from the point k to point l at the same time when that contact between two meeting teeth gets end at at that condition that g is moving from this position to the up to the position h how much is the distance or the arc traced by this point g which is called as the arc of contact again from g to p which is referred as a arc of approach and p to h which is referred as a arc of recess now we will consider the expression of the length of arc of approach is equal to length of path of approach upon cos phi which is the kp upon cos phi length of path of arc of recess is equal to length of path of recess upon cos phi length of path of recess which is the pl pl is equal to square root of small r a square minus r square cos square phi minus r sin phi in this way we have to calculate the r length of arc of recess the total if you make the sum, summation of these two gp plus ph you will find out the total 
arc of contact which is the gph or which is also referred as a arc gh that arc gph is equal to arc gp plus arc ph which is, is, is equal to kp upon cos phi plus pl upon cos phi is equal to kl upon cos phi that kl which is the total path of contact okay that we already studied that means that arc of contact is equal to path of contact upon cos phi now we'll find out the contact ratio the contact ratio means when you are contact between two meeting teeth get started over here and when this gear pair is moving from this position to the, this position at the when it is moving some intermediate position at this location again there is one pair of teeth again comes into the contact that means how many number of teeth are comes into the contact from when that contact is moving from the k to l which is called as the contact ratio the contact ratio is the ratio of the length of arc of contact to the circular pitch mathematically contact ratio or the number of teeth is equal to arc of contact upon the circular pitch that pc is equal to pi into m where m is the module m is equal to t by t and that you can take small d by small t or the capital d by capital t okay There's some facts about that contact ratio the contact ratio usually is not a whole number for example if contact ratio is 1.6 it knows the mean that there are 1.6 pairs of the teeth in contact it means that there are alternatively one pair and two pairs of teeth in contact and on a time on the time the basis the average is 1.6 the theoretical minimum value for the contact ratio is one pair minimum value is the one pair minimum value and if we increase that value that you will find the more smooth operation and more that pairing or that both the gears rotate very quietly very smoothly this is the importance of the contact ratio in this way what we learn we learn the path of contact we learn the that path of contact is equal to square root of capital R A square minus R square capital R square cos square phi out of your square root small r sin phi next square root of small r A square cos square small r square cos square phi minus R sin phi in this way this is the path of contact next arc of contact is equal to path of contact upon cos phi and your contact ratio is equal to arc of contact upon the circular pitch that circular pitch is equal to pi into m in this way we can find out all these terminologies path of contact arc of contact and the contact ratio in this way we are going to finish this lecture i hope you will understand all these concepts thank you for patience listening thank you